Hey guys, you're gonna love this one. I know we've had so many requests for mansion tours here in London. So we are bringing you today this incredible property behind us that is priced at 7,250,000 pounds. And it's for sale with Sean from Finding Country Richmond. Guys, this property has over 6,650 square feet in total. So nice. it's pretty spectacular inside. And we'll start outside today. Yes, let's start out here. I mean, we've got a lot to show you guys out here. We've obviously got various plants, and everything in here we've got a really sweet greenhouse around there so for anyone liking to grow their own vegetables and fruits here we go the amazing part is just being so you know in london and it's just so quiet all i can hear is the birds i mean there's i think there's one builder there to be fair but mostly just <laughs> birds now this would be incredible on a summer's day yeah pool heated pool and you've also got a jacuzzi so that's let's come around and show thing. that so here we are, obviously you've got the jacuzzi. And you've got a barbecue area back yeah. here. Barbecue, kind of chill bar area. So we are filming this video mid-winter in January, but yes. in the summer, it'd be pretty fun out here. Yeah, you've also got a toilet built into there as well, guys. Yeah, that's the toilet. All right, let's show you some more of the garden. As you can see on the camera, we've got this big open lawn area, but there's actually something cool over there. I'll show you, come on. As you can see, no one is overlooking your garden, so it's very private. Take a sneak peek and look at the house. Here we go, guys. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you what's inside. And this is the decking. You may notice some building noise. There is still some work going on to the property to get it all finished off. But this, I thought was worth showing. This is outdoor play area. I mean, that's more than just a tree house, isn't oh it? Oh my God, this is literally every kid's dream. We'd love that growing up. Wow, it's a proper climbing frame tree house. You could literally come up, yeah, you could just hang out in there all day. You could sleep in there. <laughs> this is probably valued at like a million in, <laughs> yeah. in London. In London, yeah. You could rent this place out. <laughs> this looks good. Oh, <laughs> woo! And then you've got a trampoline here, and that is the garage area. The builders are in there at the moment, so we won't show you all of that. Now let's head to the front door. Yeah, I was just checking out the trampoline. I love those trampolines from Nets because you can play football and it just stays it. I fell off the trampoline when I was younger and broke my arm. Pretty intense. Yeah. So I keep coming this way. We'll show you the front of the property. As I mentioned, there is some building work going on. So there's a couple of building vans and a little bit of noise, but I want to show you the entrance. I want to show you these electric gates and just how much parking you have in here. Yeah, so electric gates. And then looking back on the house, this is what it looks like coming round the corner. So I was just round there. You actually have two entrances. Oh, okay. There's a gate here and then another access point. Oh, wow. Yeah. So two gates. <laughs> yeah. And here's a look back at the property from the front. Yeah, you could fit a lot of cars on here. Yeah. Probably like 15. Yeah. <laughs> And so then over there, obviously you've got garaging as well and looks to be something above there. We're not going to go in there, as I mentioned. And let's as well, because we're going to just show this before we go in, quick look at the front area of the property. So you've got decking as well, big opening sliding doors from the living area. Yeah, so lots of decking and another lawn space down here. Now let's head to the front door. So the front door is actually on the side of the house, just through here. Yeah, it's a nice entrance porch, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's come in, guys. Just slip our shoes off. Before we start the tour, if you're new to the channel, we're not agents, and this is actually the first time we've seen this house. We've been invited by Sean, who's the listing agent. So we don't know every single thing about it, but we're gonna do our best to show you around everywhere. So should we start in the first left? Come through here. What we have is the downstairs WC. There's so much tech. Look. Oh wow, it's really dark. Here we go. Come on through then. I guess this is like an office, right? Yeah, this could be an office room. And the point of our video is we want to make it feel like you guys are viewing the property with us. Yeah. Um, too. So just natural walkthrough videos. It's nice to be there with us, isn't it? It's different to the usual presentation style videos. We're just one of you guys. Okay, come on through. 
This is a lovely area in where you can see the staircase and super high ceilings up here as well with double height dual aspect windows. And this is actually a sliding door. There's lots of ways that you can get out to the outside from here through different sliding doors. Lots of natural light. What we'll do as well, before we tour any more rooms, we'll just pop the floor plan up here so you guys can see the total area. Maybe pause the video for a reference point as when we go around, you can see more detail. So through here is the main living area. Across this side, we've obviously got the fireplace, lots of shelving and sliding doors out onto the front decking area that we showed you before. And I believe some were actually found this out when we were showing the property. So let me hit close. The curtains are all electric. So you'd put your sofas here for your living space and then it actually flows through nicely into this room. So this could potentially be a dining room, a formal, a formal dining room. Yeah, and then I've just looked at these. These basically do close like this. Yeah, so you can close it off if you'd prefer it. Yeah. Closed. And this has also got another set of doors out to the decking. It's good, isn't it? And it flows then quite well into the kitchen area, which is through here. So just look back and show everyone across the room. Yeah, this house has a really nice flow to it. So this isn't the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe some of you knew that, obviously, because of the price tag of the house, but it very much could be. Could be a kitchen size, isn't it? Really great. So loads of storage, huge boiler. Oh, wow. And the great thing is you've got um, double washing machine and double dryers. All right, now we're gonna show you one of the best areas. Summer is your that side, show us through. I'll do the honors of showing the kitchen. So it's pretty spectacular in here. I think it's a chef's kitchen actually, because all of the appliances, so this is Wolf, these are pretty big ovens. You've got, I think over eight rings. That looks very much like a chef style industrial, good quality. Yeah. Um, yes. And if you wanna see something incredible, I'm a huge lover for fridges. Can we just appreciate how big this fridge is? We've finally found a fridge big enough for what we're looking for. Yeah. I mean, we don't have tons of food, but... You could get in that fridge. Wait, that's a bit worrying. That's massive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Let me come and show you close up. That's, that's the normal size fridge, but it's double because of the freezer. Got a huge freezer. Because my pet peeve with fridges is when everything's like piled on top of each other. Yeah, you need space. Yeah, okay. And you've got lots of space here, um, doors all the way out to the garden. So you could maybe have a nice little seating area here or a little table. Yeah, for sure. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you smash the like button. Um, and, uh, and if you're enjoying the video, please make sure to smash the like button. And um, we really appreciate it. Let's try go for 3,000 likes in the first 24 hours. That would be absolutely incredible. Um, but yeah, let's go back into the tour. So lots of drawers. Oh, okay, the bins are here. Yep. I watched a video the other day of, apparently it's better to have drawers in a kitchen than cabinets. Apparently it's easier to organize everything. Because okay. this, oh, this is good. So they've got sections. Because you normally see lots more cabinets in kitchens, don't you? Yeah. Whereas this one's got more drawers. And then over here, they've got a pantry. That's perfect, wow. isn't it? That's really nicely organised. All your spices up here. Perfect. <laughs> and you've got plug sockets and everything inside as well. Yes, drawers. More drawer space on this side too. Yeah, we've also got wolf ovens here as well, which matches the brand over there. Yes. Okay, now this is pretty big. We'll put the room dimensions on the screen so you can get a feel of how big it is because I might not be doing it justice on the camera. But again, you'd have another living space here, wouldn't you? You'd have yeah. huge, maybe L-shaped sofa. You've got to use your imagination, haven't you, when the yeah. homes are empty? I love how many doors they've put in. Yeah, on a summer's day, you could have everything open, couldn't you? Yeah. And there's a skylight up here too. Okay, let me show you this as well. Here we go. There we go. 
Bye. <laughs> that is a game changer. That's it. When you spend seven million, you don't have to close your own curtains. Wow. Wow, purple curtains. Okay, open again. But yeah, that, that it could be like a cinema room in here with yeah. all the curtains closed. I notice you've got the surround sound speakers and everything built into the ceiling throughout this whole room as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much the ground floor done. There's three floors in total. So let's start heading upstairs. We have five bedrooms on this floor. Is that correct? Quick count. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Yeah. You know it's a big house when you forget yeah. how many bedrooms there are. Seven bedrooms in total. Oh yeah. Okay, let's start from this room. So this is the smallest room and you've got a view out to your garden. You've still got all the speakers system through yes. this room as well, so I assume it's through the whole house. We'll go round this yeah, way. Just give you your bearings yeah. again. This is where we are. Just come up the stairs. Bathroom in here. The toilet is behind the door. And you've got a bath with a shower head. Tell you what's a good idea for me is that mirror on there it makes yeah. the floor look like it goes further. Yeah, did you show that, yeah? Yeah. Okay, now this bedroom. This is, obviously there's no furniture, so it's quite hard to um, talk about it. Yeah, not much to say, but you can see the room and we'll keep flowing quickly. Wardrobes on this side and on that side. That's a good um, place for them, actually. Yeah, and this is at the back of the house, so the garden's through there. Now we've got a modern ensuite through here. Nice. Pretty white bathtub. Very interesting. And even better is the shower. Favourite part of this house for me is how big the showers are. Yes. Wait till you see the master, it's the master bedroom yeah. en suite, shower. Here's the next room. Next room, because we've got bunk beds up here. Okay, now let's head into this room. So this one is on the front of the house. What I love about it is how private it is. So if you come to the front view, those trees cover all the other houses. They do, yeah. I think you would want to be private for over seven million though. Yeah, so here's some electronic stuff that you can control from up here. Main gate, intercom, service gate, security, and the heating. So that's what that second gate is. Service, service. fans, staff. Etc. Interesting. Now this is the master bedroom. Hey, There's yeah. Cat flap. That's so sweet. Cat flap and jump. There's also oh. a jump so we can get in. This is more of a rectangular room. So you'd have your bed against this wall here. Big TV on the wall. Yeah, ultra flat TV. And then some more space around here. And this is also at the front of the property. And the walk-in wardrobe is around this corner. Okay. You even got your speakers in here. Yeah. I like how it's a mix between modern and still, you know, the cabinets are, you know, not too modern, yeah. are they? They've kept a little Traditional bit. Traditional and modern fusion. Fusion? <laughs> oh, let's show the ensuite. Yeah, this yeah. is the best bit. Okay, starting from this side, we have dual sinks. And this is a great idea, these mirrors. Oh, that is a good idea. So it's built into the wall. That's a really big storage cupboard. So close it again so you can sit, so it basically keeps it flush and minimal. Oh wow, yeah. And you've got two, so you yeah. don't have to share. Okay, now the toilet and this shower. Guys, can we just appreciate, hopefully it doesn't like automatically turn on, <laughs> that'd be really embarrassing. It's, it's huge, isn't it? My first thought was like, would you drown? Yeah. <laughs> because there's nowhere, but I'm sure you can tailor which one yeah, you want Yeah, so on. there'll be a button to just have this one on and then the entire. So Literally, you have a demonstration? I oh know. If, <laughs> if we didn't have to drive back and we could stay here, I would. But it's literally a waterfall shower. Like we mentioned, guys, we um, are trying to give you the best tour possible, but we don't know every specific detail about this property as we're not obviously the agents ourselves. It's very new to market. Yeah, it's not even online yet, this oh, yeah, property. That's true. So, giving you guys a sneak peek. Yeah, this is actually um, a very exclusive look. Yeah, exclusive. You won't see this online. Okay, let's go now to, we've got another floor. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this 
um, landing. Gallery landing, I think it's called, with a balcony. Should I take the camera and you, you show us? All right. Come on then, guys, up we go to the next floor. So you have windows across here as well. Thoughts on this house so far, guys? Let us know below what you're thinking. We're going to show you the last area. So up into the coach. <laughs> no, joking. This just reminds me of one of those tour buses that musicians have and they all like sleep in bunks. Yeah, it does feel like that a little bit. Yeah, but good idea. Obviously, you've got a little TV up in here, lots of built-in storage, so it's going to be a kid's room, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like no. if you had two really young yeah. kids, maybe like they're twins, they could have this floor because there's two small bedrooms. And it means you get seven bedrooms in total. Great good. idea for the storage under the bed. That's something else that reminds me of like a motorhome. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, it's, it's the bed yeah. under... Yes. So they've got two of them. Oh, yeah. So you can have four, four kids in this room. And you've got three Velux windows oh, yeah. for light. They have got blinds on at the moment. And the speaker system up here as well. So you don't need to run upstairs and wake your kids up. You can just blast some music. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what else we've got on this floor. Yep, so up here we have... Oh yeah, there's no, there's no shower, just a toilet. Again, which is soup. Suitable for kids, obviously, because of the head height. Let's see the head height. You're not hitting your head, though, are you? Only for walk back. Yeah. But if I came in and used the sink, it'd be all right. And we've got one last bedroom to show you. Yes. Another kid's bedroom, I would say. Yeah. And you've got one window through here as well. And I think you've got Eve storage. Oh, okay, you've got wardrobe behind mm. the door. And some more. That's like Harry Potter's bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> nice little details. If you take a look up, you can see that they have LED lighting oh, yeah. built above the actual co covered ceiling height. And I've just noticed you can control stuff from up here as well. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's go back down to the main kitchen area and talk to you some more about this house. <laughs> Alright, so that just about wraps up this tour. Hope you guys enjoyed looking around with us. Yes, we hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button. I know we always say that, but it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And we really appreciate it. Yeah, we do. Um, but yeah, we hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, again, if you're new and you've just watched this video from the recommended page or something, we post a new house tour every day on our channel. So make sure to subscribe so you can see more. And at the end cards in a minute, there'll be some more tours you can check out as well. So. See you guys soon.